How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an easy epic cinematic intro text for your videos. This can be done completely inside of Premiere Pro and there's no need to use After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so in here I have a video clip that I want to add the text to. This is a clip from the Dolomites and first thing we want to go to workspaces, go to captions and graphics. And in here, I'm going to go to the type tool or you can just click on C. And I'm going to type the Dolomites and I'm going to click on the text right here in the essential graphics and I'm going to increase the size to somewhere around 220 something like that and then we're going to go to the align center it in the middle now for the font I'm going to pick ultra wave thin you can use any font that you like just make sure that it is thin or extra light to give it that professional cinematic look and just make sure that it is straight in the middle and now one more important thing before you start animating this, uh, let me just increase the size here. You can see the anchor point is in the lower left corner. Just make sure that this is in the center. This way when we animate the text, it stays completely in the center and doesn't go left or right to follow the anchor point. So now let me just zoom in on the text. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a scale down effect. So we're going to go to the text, scroll down to the transform panel and click on scale. Click on the stopwatch and then move all the way to the end of the text layer. I'm gonna set it to 85. Let's play that back, see how it looks. Maybe just slow it down just a little bit, so set the scale to 88. Here's how it looks from the start to the end of the second keyframe. And I'm happy with the speed here. If you want to change it to your pacing, of course, it's completely up to you. So the second thing we're gonna do is, let me just close this here. I'm gonna add Gaussian Blur under effects right here and I'm gonna increase it to about around 130 or so and then we're gonna click again on the stopwatch icon for the blurriness move around 20 frames or so into the video and then click on zero then if we play it back you're gonna see that the text is slowly fading in from a ver very blurry text to a readable text now if you go back to the beginning of the video you'll notice that you have the blurry text right here it doesn't really look good it should fade in so in order to fix this we're gonna go to the opacity click on the stopwatch icon move the first keyframe which is 100 percent around where the blurriness is and then click on zero so now you should have an identical keyframe from for the blurriness and the opacity and if we play it back it's gonna look something like this and this looks a lot smoother with the opacity than if the text were just appearing and then the blurriness is coming out in order to make this even smoother i'm going to grab last keyframes the second keyframe for the blurriness and the opacity and i'm going to click on ease in this will smooth out things a bit more now this is already looking great i'm really happy with this but we're just going to add one more thing to make this even better it's the same effect gaussian blur but this time we're going to add it to the video behind the text we're going to increase the blurriness to around 45 and then click on the stopwatch icon and then move just a bit before the text becomes readable so the text is still just a little bit blurry then we're gonna add another keyframe and we're gonna click the blurriness make it zero now if we play it back you can see that at the beginning the video is still blurred out and as the text comes in the video is becoming more and more visible obviously you can play with the timing as I said earlier or you can play with the uh, blurriness how much depends on your clip but generally this is how the effect is done as a bonus I'll have this preset ready to download if you guys don't want to go through all this process just want the text layer to be ready and then change the words to whatever you want I'll have the link in the description so you guys can just immediately download it and use it in your video so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this Leave a like down below and subscribe for more content as always I'll see you in the next one peace